What's up you guys? Welcome to another vlog. The Evo uh, B-roll there was just for attention. So, why do I vlog? Well, number one, I've actually gotten a question, why, why now? Why do I vlog now? Well, it really is not an old thing, a new thing for me. This has been a while. It's my, my very first video that I made, um, Hardly a vlog, but it was a montage of photographs of me and Kathy when we were still going out. And I made it for her during our first year anniversary. Um, and I put it out there on uh, some web platform that I forgot what it was. I don't even know what the, the web page is anymore, but there is a video out there of my wife and, and uh, just put pictures of us together. And I montaged it and I put like you know, music behind it. And it was, you know, it, it was one of those very first dives that I took in uh, filmmaking and actually uh, making production videos. So that was in 2002, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 2003, I think. Um, the vlogging in itself for me is a way for me to pass down the memories that I've made with my family to them and also when they get their own families, when they have their own families, they can actually share it with them and, and, and hand it down. Because for the most part, I, I hardly remember a lot of the things that my family and I did. There are certain things, there are certain memories that I remember, but not all of it. Not all of it is chronicled the way I want it to be chronicled, the way I, sh I want to remember it. I, I would think that there were so many other things that my parents did with us that I just don't remember. I would see some random photographs that people would post, like relatives, cousins, my sisters. They would post something, hey, do you remember this picture? And it would be some silly photograph of me sitting down in this random place that I don't remember where all these things happened. Um, someone posted a photo of uh, my family somewhere, and I, I don't remember these things happening, obviously, because, you know, as we get older, you start to dump a lot of your, your, uh, your long-term uh, memories and, and just keep kind of, you know, working on what's important to you. That's just human nature. But what if, what if, you can hand down all of it or most of it via video. You're watching one right now. So when I post this on YouTube and my kids later on down the road when I'm well into my you know, retirement age and I wanted to share the videos that are the, the memories that we've made as a family, click on YouTube and there we are timeline from the time the from the time that Isabella was right around one or two to you know whatever age she would be at that point in time that I could still be gifted to be able to make these videos it's all in there they could see everything from the time that they first went to Disney the very first time they took a Disney cruise or we took a Disney cruise with them uh, the first time we went to the Philippines as a family. All that is going to be on YouTube. Yeah, it's public. So what? So what? Okay. Privacy. Really, honestly, think about it. There's no such thing anymore. Um, so why not just let it all hang out? Right? Some of you might disagree. I'm with you. But I will beg to just agree to disagree. Why? Because number one, okay, and this is a cliche, but I have nothing to hide. My family and myself, you know, we, we have, uh, my wife and I, we both are uh, uh, professionals, medical professionals. We deal with patients every day. We understand what privacy is all about. We're not letting, you know, our social security, our birth date, all that stuff out there. It's just memories. I'm sharing my memories with my family 
and I put it on a social media platform. And it's an open platform, so you guys can subscribe. <laughs> but in, in all seriousness, do you guys remember, especially the older, um, uh, my, my, my age uh, group, uh, the older group of my family members and my cousins and my friends, do you guys remember the albums that our mom and dad used to have underneath the coffee table in the living room that we would never look at? And now we would look at it and go, oh my goodness, look at all these memories. And you're opening them up and you open up those albums and they're all sticky because of that, that sticky residue from those pages that has the plastic cover on it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now, imagine those things, all those photographs preserved in 1080p, 720p, 4K, you know, 8K, 16K, whatever the case may be now down the road. And you could click on it anytime you want and remember those things that you've seen with your family on demand. I think that would be probably the most wonderful gift that you can give your family. That's why I blog. That's why I make memories like this for them. Later on down the road when I'm old and I'm driving you know, a pickup truck in the Philippines and in Surigao, I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember how beautiful this car is. I'm going to remember how awesome my Tundra looks. You know, because why? Because now I have it for perpetuity. I have those memories. And not that you don't remember, but there's a lot of things that you don't remember. That's just human nature. There are things that you don't want to remember. There are things that you just do a brain dump on and you never you, you forget about it for the rest of your life until somebody brings it up and then said, oh yeah, I remember. You know? So as this goes along, okay, I want my children to know that we were there for them the whole time. Because another thing, I would dare you to remember every little piece of information that you and your parents shared from then to now. I remember, what I remember of my parents, my mom worked a lot. That's what I would remember about that. But I'm pretty sure my mom thought differently. My mom thought she spent more time with us than she did working. That's just parental nature, right? So I would look at that and I would go, you know, at least now my kids can see the truth, how much. And there's no dispute because they see the videos. They see, yeah, for one week we went here. For a month we went there. For a weekend we went here. We took their first Disney cruise together. We took, we took them to Disney together with the family. But you guys see where I'm going with this, right? I think that blogging, videos, social media, as, a, as, as bad of a rap as it gets because people are using it for, for bad things, we can also use it for great things because now I can hand down all the memories to my girls and my girls can hand it down to their children and the children after that. For perpetuity, it is in there. That's the reason why I blog. So guys, think about that, right? Not that I'm saying you all should blog. I'm just saying, you know, I'm. people have asked me, that's why I'm answering now. People have asked me, why blog now? Well, it's really not now. It's been since 02, even before vlogging was a thing. Before it was blogging with photos and some music behind it. Now it's... You know, everybody's YouTubing, everybody's doing this. You know, I use for my own purposes. And again, the biggest thing for me is sharing my memories with my kids, with my family, with everybody. It's the, it's the best way for me to share my memories with my family. Uh, not just my immediates, obviously, but my extended family, who I miss and love very much in the Philippines and all over the world. In one click, they can see what experience that I have and hopefully one day they will get to experience the same thing and they do the same thing 
I can I can see what they've experienced and I want to experience what they've experienced. Right? We can all use it for good. That's up to you how you want to use it. So in closing, I just wanted to say that I sincerely appreciate um, all the followers and everybody that subscribed to my channel um, because it really it, it does mean a lot you know it, it's not that I'm, I'm looking for subscriptions I don't I'm not making money off of this I that's not my main goal it's just nice that people will kind of are cool and and they're following you and you know they, they're in, really interested in your life because I do the same thing I follow a lot of people Okay, a lot of my family members, I, I kind of, you know, stalk their Facebook page and see what their experiences are, especially the people that I'm interested in um, as far as, you know, wow, the, what an interesting life. I'd love to follow that stuff. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. And hopefully you have a good weekend. It's Friday. Have fun. Spend it well and always with your family. Much peace, much love. I am out.